color picker and we already styled this over right here so anything in this section on the right hand side is going to be centered and it's going to have all this padding and also the black border right here on the left hand side which is actually it appears as a vertical line so color picker and whoa what the heck did I just do alright V align equals top now what this is going to do is by default whenever you have something inside um, a table data like this it's centered vertically so for example look at my cursor right now if I had an image in there it would appear right here it wouldn't appear at the top it would appear right here so if you wanna have more control over your images which I do in the case of this palette what I like to do is I like V align top and then I just add a padding top and then I have control of how far it is from the top border but anyways that's why I did that and now we can go ahead and the first thing we need to do is actually add this image now I'm gonna go ahead and post the image on my forum so if you guys don't have it you can actually input any image there it doesn't even have to be a color palette but if you guys want this one then go to my forum buckysroom.com slash forum and you could download this exact one so in order to insert the image just write image the source equals I named it palette dot ping and actually I don't even want to give it a border do I need to alright I might as well and eh, you know what, F it but anyways I'll just stick with the core basics for this tutorial and then if you want to style it on your own web page then you can get fancy but what we do need to do is we need to add on click equals get color event and you're like whoa 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 slow down Bessie WTF is this well on click is basically a JavaScript function that says <coughs> well I don't want to say JavaScript function because what it does is it's an attribute in HTML and whenever you click your mouse it calls the function that what is ever in the value so for this value we wrote get color and we passed it in event now later on what this JavaScript function is going to do is it's basically going to retrieve the color. So to make it really simple in everyday terms, whenever I click this part of the palette, it's going to return red. Whenever I click, you know, this part of the palette, it's going to return blue. So that's what this on click does. As soon as I click, it gets the color. And again, it's a little bit more detailed than that, but you'll see in JavaScript. I just give you guys a real, you know, basic introduction. Next, I just want to insert one more tag, BR for Bucky's Room. Everyone should join. And after this, let me just go ahead and add an input. Now, this input right here is going to be a default uh, form value. So let me go ahead and code this, and then I'll talk. ID equals color type equals hidden read only equals true and I'll talk about what all this means in a second and value equals zero 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 boom roasted alright so you guys are saying what the heck is this I'm looking at the section and there is no input box why do you have that well the reason I have this is because we need to have a hidden value that doesn't display it's basically a default value and that's what this read only means read only true and if you guys never seen this attribute in HTML for before it means that it cannot be modified you can only read it you can't edit it at all so that's why it's hidden because we don't want the user to interact with this element at all it's just uh, you know something that we're gonna be working with in JavaScript later on so that's why I want it basically before the user picks the color um, you know we have to give them a default color Ugh, have a little hiccup stuff like that but anyways, the last thing I want to do is I want to add this little thing. Text will look like this, and this is just a simple little prompt to let the user know, hey, this isn't just, you know, a random image on the right-hand side of your screen. You have to actually click on one of these, and your text is going to look like that. So always nice to let the user know what the F is going on. So span, and I want to give this the ID of, actually, I don't even think I did it actually yeah we don't even need that 
I styled it in my other example but for right now all we need to do is go ahead and write it so text will look like this so now whenever we run this program we're gonna get this little prompt on the screen and like I said now the user knows what the F is going on so that is all we need to do to style the chat room itself so now we styled pretty much this entire table everything that's highlighted in blue so the only other thing that we have to do is actually we just have to style the little form under it real quick this little div area that says guest the part where you type your message the send delete button and it takes about two seconds so I'm gonna be saving that for the next tutorial because there are a couple things that I want to talk about um, how this you know intertwines with your JavaScript file later on so I'm gonna go get like some freaking cough drops or something and probably some McDonald's because I'm a little tubby and well thank you guys for watching and uh, well I'll see you later